Week two, working from home, the new normal. I hate that phrase, but it is the new normal now for a while, I suppose. Wanted to find out what the team have found to be the biggest challenges and the biggest surprises so far since um, being in this new environment. So I'll hand over to the team and they can like, run through how they've been feeling, what they've been thinking and what they've been up to. What's up legends? Um, within the business biggest challenge, uh, no question this week has been trying to get properties returned from our current client and turned around ready for our new client come the, uh, the 1st of April. So having not really been classified as a key worker necessarily, um, not having the full permission to go out and maybe do all of our frontline services, we've had to get in touch with the council to make sure we've got the permission uh, to essentially go out and inspect 24 properties last week uh, that we're getting back having not seen the inside condition for a few months. Short notice, because obviously we planned to start this a few weeks ago, then the virus hit and we got sort of knocked off schedule a bit. The biggest challenge from working at home. The biggest challenge has been ensuring I'm able to stay on task and not get distracted with everything that's happening like around me and ensuring I don't get too engrossed into a piece of work because I have to do other tasks as well, not just, for example, my apprenticeship work. Biggest challenge kind of working wise for me, I suppose it's been balancing, balancing time and balancing priorities. I've always been pretty good at that, but now it's been taken in a very different situation and scenario with the home environment, coupled with the fact that we've just had Georgia start with us who is a digital marketing apprentice so that's working directly with me not being able to be around them or properly show them things or teach them stuff or get involved in other things is really annoying <laughs> and, and definitely a challenge but you know we'll work through it. Personally because I'm new to the company everything has been a challenge so far I'm taking it one step at a time just putting all my effort, effort and brain power <laughs> if you will, into these tasks. Also, my dad. He is the biggest distraction for me whilst working from home. You'll find out. That wasn't a cartwheel. <laughs> second question was the uh, biggest surprise um, I think productivity has been really strong so I've had my to-do list and I've been able to smash through that to-do list and the lack of travel has made a big difference like I'm really close to the office where I live but even just taking out that's meant that I'm a lot quicker so I've not got that time of, you know setting everything up and getting a drink it's just like bang straight in so that's been Quite a big surprise. The biggest surprise of the whole working from home is just the loveliness of getting to have lunch every day with Finn and feeling like I've got that time. That is something that I've not had in a very long time. It's just that ability to take genuine breaks and sit down with Finn, have some lunch, play some Uno, catch up on what schoolwork he's been doing and just have that little bit of time out which has been really a nice bonus to this current working situation. I'd say the biggest surprise has been like how well I feel like the team has like been able to cope, like manage it and like we still like interact with one another with our like daily hangouts and like catch up calls. From a business perspective, it's been a really positive week. We've had four people join the business. So it's great to see some new faces um, and kind of introduce them. Hello, it's Oliver. I'm new to Cornerstone Partnership and this is Isla. That's my daughter who wanted to be in the video with me. The biggest challenge so far has been trying to balance kind of the work and home life. Obviously having the children uh, at home constantly, just trying to balance kind of their educational needs with uh, trying to get all the work done. Uh, I'm going to talk about the hospital. I can't the same at the hospital. Go on then, what do you want to say? At the hospital people have oxygen. How productive do I feel? Extremely productive. I always am, we always are as a business. It's part of our value system to be driven, to be focused. I'm sticking to my routines and when I'm given the space to just get on with my personal workload, then I can just eat through work, you know, like uh, a hungry guy at a buffet, I don't know but I can just smash smash stuff out. So I like a little list. I like to be left on my own and I can be super productive that way. So I'm all over that. It's a tricky one, really. I've found ups and downs. Um, you see these people come in saying like they're smashing out all this kind of their tasks and use this time to reflect on you and all that kind of stuff. Whilst I do agree with that, part of me is kind of like, oh, 
shut up. <laughs> everyone is different, everyone's unique, everyone is adapting to this in their own way. I think I've adapted quite well, I'm still carrying on with the main things I need to be able to do. I'm still in touch with Georgia and the rest of the team regularly, but there's definite peaks and troughs so when you feel like you're getting stuff done and when you feel like you kind of have that moment to actually stop and realise, oh yeah, this is what's going on and this is how it's going to be for a while. And that does slump me down anyway and affect my productivity, but yeah, the waves of productivity, it has been definitely. The fourth thing, top tip for sanity, for me it has to be routine and still having a semblance of normality. Stick to your work routine as much as possible. Have a really clear list of what you want to achieve during that day so you get that sense of completion. Uh, that, that makes a big difference, so I block out my diary so I know that I'm making progress on something, that really helps. For me it's about controlling the controllables, so there's a lot going on that we can't control, there's a lot of news out there and things that we uh, struggle to interpret a little bit, and focusing on what you can control for me is the big way to keep yourself sane, so try not to get too consumed with the emotive side of a what if this and what if that. Yes, we've got to be aware of that, but it's about controlling the things that we have ownership of and doing the stuff that we can do to make sure that we're being productive, we're being positive, and uh, yeah, we just feel generally in more control of the situation. So controlling the controllables, top tip for, for staying sane. Staying in ghosts, just to be lost.